I remember as it happened yesterday. The day I left my country was tough. Saying goodbye to my family and friend was not easy. I grew up in a small town in Mexico, where everyone knows each other. I was raised in a home of the three younger sisters. My parents did not achieve an education higher than elementary school, but they always encouraged all of us to learn as much as we could and not to be afraid of challenges. I came from a family who support each other. The decision to leave everything behind and move to the USA was a big step for my family and me. English was my biggest challenge and my biggest fear. I always thought, what am I going to do if I cannot simply ask for some food? Even though my husband speaks English fairly well and he could ask for me, but I couldn't speak for myself anymore. Moving from another country meant that I had to start my life all over again, with no family around to support me. Every second I was here, I just wanted to be home. I missed my family so much. I was afraid all the time of getting sick with the fear of going to the doctor and no understanding a single word. I remember the day my tooth broke and I was willing to tolerate the pain for two days due to the fear of speaking in English. But I couldn't stand the pain anymore and I went to the dentist. My husband was with me the first hour only filling the paperwork. But then he had to go back to work and I was alone. I was lucky that one of the nurses spoke Spanish. So he explained that they must pull out my tooth. The nurse had to leave and the dentist tried to explain everything to me. He asked me something and I only nodded my head. But I didn't understand what he was saying. When he started the procedure, I immediately felt the pain. The anesthesia had not worked correctly, and my tears ran down my cheeks. Then, after some time, the nurse saved me and explained that I should raise my hands if I wasn't comfortable or I felt pain. So I did, and the dentist gave me more anesthesia. So, finally, my nightmare ended. It was all because I couldn't understand English. Since that day, I made a goal for myself to learn English. Now, I had been taking English class at Second Star since September 2014, and I can understand more. I had met nice people who had supported me in my reaching milestone to learn English, and um, I enjoy every moment. I'm still learning because if I think I can do it, it can be done.